Yes, welcome. Here we are, Espresso Sesh, episode number 90 with Afrofunk Experience in the house. Welcome, DJ. Welcome, Sandy. What's going on, people? Hey. Hello. Hey, Thank you for having us. A pleasure to have you guys here. We're going to spend two hours with Afrofunk Experience uh, pre talking about their music, playing some old tunes, new tunes, live performance. So let's uh, keep uh, playing another one from yeah. your latest release. Yeah. Never been the same. This is going to be Village of a Million. And then we go back here and talk at the Espresso Sesh Best Frequencies Forever. Espresso Sesh Best Frequencies Forever in the studio, David James and Cindy House, Afro Funk Experience. Hey, hey. hey. Hello, guys. So it's a pleasure to have you here oh, first. It's a, pleasure, it's a pleasure to be here. 
Um, you guys, Afrofunk Experience has been um, since I think 2003, like or le- something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yes, it, you know, in in some form or another, we started uh, in one way and then we morphed into our current incarnation. Yeah, but <laughs> a good chunk of us have been playing together since around 2003. Since around 2003, yeah, and uh, you guys been uh, like uh, nominated our our winning. Uh, in, so is you guys ever like a history that is kind of talk for itself. I don't want to be like the, uh, you know. Well, there are a couple. Of, we we did a couple of albums in the early in the in the aughts, in the 2000 aughts, um, with Sila. So Sila and Afro Funk Experience, uh, Funkiest Man in Africa, and Black President, and those those were those were good. Uh, and then we kind of we, we had separate directions, and Sila went one way, and most of the band went another way, and so we did this album, Never Be the Same, with Sandy House, hey. the fantastic Sandy House on vocals. Uh, Thank you. She and her husband Ken House, you know, co-wrote some of the tunes. Uh, Wendell ran the bassist, and myself wrote some other things. Uh, and then there's also Paul Oliphant on drums. David Boyce on saxophone, and originally Mike Petrie on trumpet and vocals. Uh, Unfortunately, he passed away a few he, years ago. He passed away. Uh, his spirit's still with us, and we have a great trombone player, Alan Williams, playing with us, and B. Lee, Brandon Lee, on percussion. And that crew is all, we're all going to be on this new upcoming thing, which we're we're gonna premiere, we're premiere like a little, yeah. little tunes. Probably you guys have a, like maybe, maybe. Let's stay there's tuned. There's a guitar in my hand, and there's I don't a, know why there's a guitar in your hand. Uh, uh, it just, just, just so happens. Yeah, um, we're we're trying to wait and see if anybody else can show up and join us on this, uh, this in studio. But you know, yes, if not, if nobody else can make it, we'll we'll go ahead. We'll do this. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll try to. We'll do something. I mean, there is Wendell. It's on its way. There's been a little uh, traffic out there yeah. in the fires and, fires yeah. and uh, fire madness. It's been uh, it's been a crazy weekend, a week, uh, you know, like in the Bay Area in it's, general. It's been nuts. Um, we 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 really our hearts go out to all those affected by these various fires, and we're actually going to be playing a benefit in Cotati up in Sonoma County this Thursday night yeah. uh, at the Redwood Cafe. Uh, it starts at 8 o'clock. Uh, so members of Afrofunk Experience, Sandy, myself, Wendell, and Ken House will all be there uh, playing with members of uh, North Bay band Onye. And there'll be, mm-hmm. there'll be drummers and, you know, it, it's, it's a good, obviously it's a good cause. Um, it's kind of pay whatever you can, whatever you can bring. Um, Whatever yeah. you can donate, that's the admission, yeah. and, and it's it's from eight o'clock to eleven o'clock, and that's at the Redwood Cafe, which is at eighty two forty, Old Redwood Highway, in Cotati. Cotati is uh, right next to Santa Rosa, so it's like a yeah, it's hot place yeah. now. Uh, yeah, also we are donating um, uh, today. If you click on the donate button, if you're watching on the YouTube video, we are donating to Direct Relief. So, Great. you know, to yes. support the victim of the fire because we have like friends and uh, exactly. like relatives and close people that have yeah. been affected by the, by the fire. Yeah, friends, family, band members live in, in Sonoma County. Wendell's, you know, a, he's in Petaluma, so he's a good distance away, but you know, he knows even more people that are you know, in, yeah. in, in the area. So, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a serious thing, it's uh, and it's good to. You know, be aware and uh, do our little part in yeah. order to support it, and uh, you know, like at least, uh, yeah, support and be aware. So you guys are playing a benefit show. Yeah, that's the, that's the, Thursday. Like night. a last minute thing, last minute, yeah, because of the of the circumstances. Yeah. And also, you guys have uh, a residency going on uh, these days, once a month at yeah. the Milk Bar. Milk Bar on Hate Street. In fact, we'll be there this Friday, this the next Friday. night. Uh, and that starts a little later. That starts around 9.30. Um, and that's at 1840 Haight Street, right across the street from Amoeba Music. From Amoeba Music, yeah. Um, and we're, we're, I think we place, it's a place, play place familiar night. to you, Amoeba it's, Music. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I've been there. I've been there once or twice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, 
No, I mean, I remember this because um, um, I had you over, like, last year presenting your own project, side project, like, right. solo project. Right. And, uh, yeah, but today we're going to talk about Afrofunk experience. Yeah, I had to leave that time early to go to work. Yeah. And unfortunately, I have to leave early. <laughs> to go to work, man. I mean, it's a nice place to work. So, it's you a know, great place. You know, being surrounded by great music in a, in a great, you know, building. So you guys, Afrofunk Experience, uh, we had like a couple of songs from this EP, I think it was 2012, no? Something like yeah. that. Yeah, it was a long time ago. long yeah. time ago, because, you know, like uh, Mike Pidre, it's on the album, yes. no? And then he passed away, so it was kind of a moment yeah. like to, you guys like to like re rethink the, the balance, no? Yeah. Rearrange yeah. The, the band and, you know, like... We had to regroup, we had to, we had to figure out, we had to figure some things out, that's for sure. Um, uh, I feel like we we, 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 we were able to and, and I'm singing more, Sandy's singing more, um, have more group vocals going on now and okay. and again we have Alan Williams now. Yeah. It's a great cut and a great musician. So yeah. 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 yeah, you guys have been solid like with this lineup it's been uh, it's been a, a while, no? Like since uh, like four years, five yeah. years or even more, yeah. no, with this yeah. lineup. Well, Maybe about 2009. 2009, okay, so, yeah. With everybody. 2008, 2009. Oh, with this yeah. Yeah. I think so. No, with, with Mike. Oh, with Mike. I mean, with Alan. With Alan, yeah, I remember. Maybe Alan since at least 2010, I think. You think it's later? Yeah, because the album came out in oh, 2012. that's right, that's yeah. right. But anyway, it's been it's been a, it's a solid lineup that has been like consolidated it feels like family now. in this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've known each other forever. We're so long yeah. now. So. <laughs> it's good, no, because you can see like in the music that you guys play, you know. Yeah. Uh, so you know, like um, also working on new material. Yes. And yes. Uh, this is exciting, no? It's very exciting. Yeah. After it's like few exciting. few years of uh, you know like preparing, like writing down stuff, now it's time to and record. Playing, record. playing this new stuff live a lot and mm -hmm. and getting it under our belts, you know, and kind of coming together as a band around this new material. It's yeah, because fun. you guys like uh, music-wise, no, like if you wanna use some tag, and some, uh, you know, it's kind of weird, but you know, you guys go like follow the African di diaspora in the music, like so blending like elements of funk, uh, Afrobeat. Uh, there are also classic, uh, you know, like New Orleans uh, arrangement in the in the horn section. In the horns, yeah. There's some Caribbean influences, and mm -hmm. you know, some. Uh, Central and South American influences. Uh, you know, the, yeah, the, the diaspora is wide. It's wide, no? And uh, you know, in the in the in the in the sound of the band, no? yeah. there is this uh, this mix, no? This, uh, this this blend of of these elements. Is the new material uh, following this path, or? Uh, I think so. I mean, some of the tracks. Oh, no, go ahead, DJ. You're doing great. <laughs> some, doing great. some of the tracks are, so. are are just are hard funk grooves, and, and yeah. some of them are a little, you know, a little, you know. There's a there's a cumbia or a mm -hmm. cumbia influenced tune. No. There's a um, there's a kind of dance hall reggae influenced tune, and. Yeah, mm -hmm. among other things. Among, among other things. Okay, I mean, you guys are living in the Bay Area. There are a lot yeah. of influences <laughs> over here. Yeah. You, you gotta be blind to don't don't realize that. No, don't recognize that. So yeah, um, are you guys gonna play any of those songs or like uh, preview any of those songs live? Maybe. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why don't we, uh, yeah let's let's try to hook up something. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's try, entertain let's that. Yeah, like a, something that we can do, you guys can do in a duo before when the yeah. comes in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just straight from the flesh, right? Yeah. <laughs> How about, let's, let's try, let's try uh, Cumbiosity. Cool. It'll be, we could, it'll be, uh, we could try it's that. It's a very stripped down. Stripped down version. I mean, very stripped I know. Down. We, we already, we already talked about Afro Funk Experience. <laughs> it's like eight piece band, no? Yeah. yeah so so they're, they, they're, you know, from try, eight, try to imagine. But, you know, it's also the contest. Yeah. So you guys are here at Espresso <laughs> Session. It's a tiny studio. It looks bigger on the camera. Yeah, it, looks, it looks huge. Yeah, it looks huge, but, you know, it's tiny and cozy, you know? 
So this is a, a stripped down version of Afrofunk experience of the Cumbiosity. Cumbiosity. Okay. Uh, so we, I won't do any of the riffs, I'll just do the. the okay. Say we can go there to find our rooms All the way from Elmina Castle We find the history of me and you For me and you All the way from Elmina Castle We find the history Of me and you Africanos, cumbia de los Maya, cumbia de los sacerdotes españoles, cumbia de los conquistadores, cumbia de los deshumanizadores. You should be getting down. Baila, baila. We came to burn it to the fire. Ground. We're gonna burn it down, we're bringing fuego. Cumbia de los africanos, cumbia de los maya, cumbia de las sucias, cumbia de los puros, cumbia de los manos suaves, cumbia de los dedos duros. You should be getting down. Baila, baila. We came to burn it to the fire. We're gonna burn it down, we're bringing fuego. That was uh, yeah. Cumbia City. I see you also <laughs> speak. Cumbia City. Cumbia City. Um, I see you also speak a little, like sing a, in Spanish. I only uh, sing a little. I don't a really, little. I don't really uh, speak it. Uh, but you but, know, it's, but it's, a I, new, it's a new thing for Afrofunk experience, no? Yeah, we haven't, we haven't thrown any, any bad span, like Spanish in our songs until now. Until now. Yeah. Because, you know, you guys live in the Bay Area, so. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. It's good. Uh, so it's, uh, I mean, a very stripped down version, no? Like probably... Yes. This is the the, ba the bass line. There's you, bass, there's other guitars, yeah. there's horns, percussion, drums, more vocals. Um, you know, I realized it was it's actually very similar to the song that we did uh, with Seelan and Afrofunk Experience. Right. And I kind of took the riff from that and made it a little more cumbia. And I realized there's a, especially if you, when you hear the full band version or see us do it live, there's a really, there's a close... 
uh, cumbia and dancehall reggae are not that far far apart from each other. Yeah. And especially when you then get into like reggaeton, it's like there there's there's an overlap there. Yeah. And we're so we're trying to, we're kind of working in that kind of zone. That territory, that, that, that zone. Okay. Yeah. And so we so that's the zone we're working on that tune, and then other tunes that are other overlap zones that you know that's just yeah. kind of that's kind of what we do yeah man it's uh it's like being in like um, a receptive of the environment you have around and uh, when you make music then you get this inspiration and you you put it out no yeah and yeah. uh i mean also in an eight piece band each one no contributing that yes to. yes Cool. It's uh, it's pretty lovely the sound you guys have, like the two of you. Huh? So yeah, well, and Sandy sounds fantastic. DJ sounds amazing. Yeah, I was thinking, oh. like, let me give you this mic uh, that is right there because Wendell is not here yet, so I don't have to to bend. Give right. me one oh. second. Yeah, just one second. Um, I think it's oh, it's so awesome being a um a member of Afrofunk Experience. Um, definitely a lot of growth just being in this group of collective um, musicians that have incredible backgrounds, who have played so much. And um, with the music that we play, I mean, just as a vocalist, lyrically and a vocalist, it's, it's a constant strive to try to find, you know, a message to flow with the music that's being played. And, you know, and just who we are, what we represent, I, I mean, I know me personally, I just like to be a voice, you know, for others. We like to speak about and play about things from all over the world, not only just right next door or with what's going on in our North Bay, but just just everywhere. And it's just it's just great. The music that we do, because we can speak about almost, you know, almost anything. You can have a message in your music, and uh, I mean, North Bay is something that is, uh, it's kind of, re it's a recent event, you know, so, you know, yeah. but awareness is something that goes with, can go with you, like, all the time, and uh, especially as if you write the lyrics, yeah. you kind of have, like, a, no responsibility, but kind of the choice or the power, let's put it in another way, you know, to direct your lyrics towards, you know, some something more meaningful. Sure, yes. Because because you know like music is very powerful get like bring people together and uh, move people like mm -hmm. they can make people cry people dance people laugh people you know like. right so you know if you bring a message with the music yeah. and you know how to like vagle it through the music it can be very powerful no yeah yeah okay and sandy does a great job she does a great job bringing lyrics to to the to the stuff to my best thank you yeah thanks dj Afrofunk experience in the house, David James and Sandy House. Uh, you guys are going to play another one? It doesn't matter, we can. Yeah? <laughs> what are you, are you trying to, uh, we, trying to let's shuffle try, around? Let's try to uh, fight our way through. Um, I, I don't know why. Oh. Okay. All right. I love this. I love these challenges, you know. Oh, that's that's See, one of from us. eight musicians to two <laughs> no. to really no, it's one. Fun. It's you know. a it's a let's, it's let's exciting. Yeah, we're it working is. it out right here. Yeah, it is. Uh, Alright? Yeah, we'll see. All right. Uh, Police, they shoot another one today, and 
by one I mean a human being made from flesh and not clay and I don't know why and I don't know why tell me and I don't know why One time over on Cap Street, but he ain't never, never coming back. And I don't know why. And I don't know why. A brother's got to die him. a special little thing we call freedom the only thing is that it doesn't come for free so say it to my so say it to we say why Your hand in mine, so we can understand. We got 
It's free, I know. It's uh, sometimes we try to pay money to get freedom and uh, spend money. And uh, uh, in the meanwhile, from the Facebook community, I got like a bellissima voce, very beautiful voice. Oh, Thank yes. you, grazie. Yeah, yeah, from Italy, say Claudio. Wow. As, and right also, on. there is uh, Go Sandy Willie Thompson say, <laughs> Go Sandy, you know, like if you have any question for Afrofunk experience or for David James and Sandy House here, uh, just write it down. Or for any of the band members, or for we'll, the, we'll, or, or we'll any, answer for them. Yeah, yes, for the, especially, <laughs> especially for others, you know, like, we are ready to, I was noticing, um, uh, so you are a left-handed guitar player, but also you keep the, the strings like uh, right-handed, so you, you, you develop your own uh, Jimi Hendrix uh, <laughs> like technique. I like that, I developed my own Jimi Hendrix. Your own Jimi Hendrix technique. Uh, yeah, that's just how I, you know, someone handed me a guitar when I was a kid, and I just, it's I didn't know of a correct way, so I just, yeah. that, I'm left-handed, so I turned it that way, and, you know, by I the mean, time anyone told I, me, hey, that's... I think the correct way is the way, like, to play, to make it sound, exactly. no? so, you know, I think exactly. you're playing correctly. Well, it's hopefully. just It's just, uh, it's just <laughs> another, um, another way to play, just no? To play. Uh, play yeah. around. There are millions of ways to do things, no? yeah. so, you know, this yeah. is one of them. Cool, so these are new materials, like uh, preview, like yeah. new materials. Yeah, those are both songs that are going to be on the new album. On the new album, it's work in progress. You know? Yes, it's not we've, recorded, we've recorded seven songs, you know, the, all the tracks, the overdubs, you know, it's just a matter of mixing. I think we want to do a couple, add a couple more things to it, maybe put, add some live recordings, um, yeah. but the, the, the bulk of it is there. Is there? Okay. And so it's, it's, it's coming along, and hopefully... Uh, in a matter of maybe six months, there should be something okay. available mm -hmm. from it. And in the meanwhile, if you are um, uh, intrigued by the sound, like this, what are you listening now? Is uh, like intimate stripped down version. You can check them out. This, if you are in North in the North Bay, they are playing this Thursday. Oh, yeah. Yes, at the Redwood Cafe. Okay. Uh, Eighty-two forty Old Redwood Highway in Cotati, and that that one's a benefit. Uh, it'll be another strip, not quite as stripped down version of Afrofunk Experience. There'll be four of us, uh, along with some members of some other bands uh, from up there, uh, just just getting together and playing some music for 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 the people. It's, whatever donation you can bring is that's the admission price. And then the next night, Friday, we're playing at Milk on Hate Street, and that's the full, the full that's band. the full band, yeah. the full night, all night. Uh, yeah. That's eighteen forty Hate Street Milk Bar, uh, starting around nine thirty. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So for your monthly residency over there. Yeah. 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 And uh, so it's a, it's a way that you can listen to the new material like with the old band. And yeah. um, cool. And you can see us uh, try to work out some even newer stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know. Made on the, along the way. Well, uh, yeah. Um, and some, probably some things made up on the fly in that moment. Yeah. You know, yeah. Things that, that just kind of happen. It's an improv yeah. moment, you know, they, they are always good. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to play another song while you're, like, maybe uh, an old you? song or something from the yeah, album? Uh, yeah, something from the break. album that we yeah. can regroup and okay, yeah, yeah. figure out. Yeah, okay. What, what do you want to play from the album? Like, uh, we got What It Was, uh, Mad Money Was. How about... How about Mad Money Was? Get some, get some spirit of Mike Petrie yeah. in the in the, in the, in the uh, house. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, what, what it was, part one. Uh, Afrofunk Experience, BFF.FM. <laughs>
baby All that ever matter The dream remains intact Till the second night of shadows Play Now she dancing like a zombie He got the moment in his eyes Mountains never crumble The ocean never cries I don't know What you was thinking of But it ain't gonna never be Like it was Stuck your mama away Gone for good and here to stay But it ain't gonna never be Like it was Well it's once and done Then it really, 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 really right But I'ma tell you right now, I'ma get a mouth beat hummingbird ass every time. Night crawlers paint the moss beneath the flicker of the flame. Crazy fugazes pimp the pawns in the king chess game. Ha. But I don't know what you was thinking of. 'Cause it ain't gonna never be like it was. Don't give mama away, gone for good and here to stay, but it ain't gonna never be like it was. Of course. 
Sophie Picasso, Michael, you're fooling yourself. You can't even buy me a cup of coffee. This music stuff isn't pain. You need a job. You need a real job. Girl, what you talking about? I got a job. I make music. Michael?
What It Was, Afrofunk Experience from 2012 album Never Be The Same, with Mike Pitre on the trumpet, it was also on the vocals, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. both of Yes, alright. Um, I, uh, I had you, David, I have you over here a few times, uh, like uh, last, year, last year or something like yeah, that, we yeah. talk about oh, like... Go your experience, like your influences and the fact that you had the access to so much music working in a record store, yeah. like what a record store, like Amoeba. So, you know, um, and you also play some, some records, you brought some music. Yeah, I think I brought some like Charles Mingus and some uh, Jimi all, Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix, all kinds like, of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. like great stuff, you know. Um, so this, this part is kind of covered. You can look back at the archive because we have an archive of these shows this is episode number 90 so there are lots of episodes it's been two years almost in this journey yeah. espresso yeah. journey drinking espresso that's awesome um yeah but what about you sandy um oh. what about you like uh, what like the music uh, you were listening when you like decided like i want to sing so there was something like that oh yeah i mean singing i guess because i didn't have access to instruments you know when i was little so your voice the, my last resort my last resort was yeah. oh i guess i'll sing yeah. and um i think i was like eight or nine years old and um i heard somebody singing i said i said okay since i don't have an instrument i'll just sing yeah. and at that time you know it was like anita baker was out there Whitney houston was out there right carrie so i listened to a lot of them and lately i've been listening to a lot of shaka khan um, Rufus, um, I listened to a lot of Sade, um, I listened to some jazz artists just to kind of get in touch with their vocal ability and what they're doing. Um, I do like listening to Lauren Hill. I like her lyrics. Um, she's always talking about something that could teach you something yeah. or teach everyone something. So I, I listen to a variety of stuff. Sometimes I listen to country music. Do you ever listen oh. to any gospel? Or did you oh, ever listen to any course. gospel? <laughs> of course, asking, right? No, yeah, <laughs> of course. I, I, I sing a lot in church. I do listen to gospel music. Um, it's funny. I actually enjoy singing a lot of the old hymnals. Believe it. I mean, old hymnals. I like Blessed Assurance, Pass Me Not. Um, I'm not too hip you, with a lot of the latest you, gospel you, artists. You want to do a, like a little uh, perf like gospel performance, like a solo, like a cappella, real quick? Like you one, know what? One would, minute, one minute. Let's just, do Let's do one minute. One let's minute. Do, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Because we are live here. No, so yeah. let's do it. Yeah, like. why not? If music is music, right? Yeah. Um, Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born in his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. So, Who? I love yeah, hymnals. Sandra. Hymnals are great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But yeah, um, gospel music, yes. <laughs> It's part, of, it's part of your, yeah. That would be a, that'd be a yes. Of course. That was it. The, the gospel music. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. Wow. Great. Yeah, wow. and, and what are you listening these days? What's your in, uh, every rotation on your... Uh... So literally right now, if it's not gospel music or this other gospel band I've been having fun with, um, lately it's been Rosetta Tharp. I cannot say why right now, but lately <laughs> it's been Rosetta Tharp. 
If anyone's out there, look up Rosetta Tharp. Sister Rosetta Tharp. Sister Sister Rosetta Tharp. She is considered to be the godmother of rock and roll. Uh, Yeah. 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 (laughs) Rock and guitar and vocals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we we should play something like... (laughs) Like make it rain. Didn't Let it rain. rain? Didn't it rain? Didn't it rain? Yeah, just a little little sip it. Didn't um, rain. Yes, let's but, uh, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. that's a great Sister one. Sister Rosetta Tharp can play guitar though and yeah. sing. So. All right, let's let's do it. <laughs> Espresso sessions play some Rosetta Tharp. Sister Rosetta Tharp didn't rain here with Afrofunk experience in the building. All the sweet horsey. All the sweet horsey. Oh. This is the wonderful time of my life. All I've been doing this year now. Oh, let me tell you something. Uncle Joe, you can't beat it. It's raining and the people are so trying to stay in the house. And I feel it is. Oh, it makes me feel happy. Oh, yeah. Just to know we can do study the rain. And the people are so sweet to stay oh, here. And I come in on them. Yeah. Let me tell you what I come in on. Oh, yeah. Thank you for this. Like it's always great uh, to listen to some Sister Rosetta Tharp because oh, yeah. actually, so that we don't think about this is something that is not like in uh, our everyday life, no. Oh, but yeah. she was definitely uh, influential and uh, oh yeah, f- like you were saying, no. Definitely an impact on music, and you know, being a member of AFE number one, we do like to um, talk about the roots of our music. And uh, Sister Rosetta Tharp, she's known as the godmother 
of rock and roll. Um, I can't give much details now, but if anyone knows Anita Lofton, Anita Lofton is working on something and it is regarding Sister Rosetta Tharp. I don't have any dates or details, but she did give me a call and spoke to me about a possible tribute to Sister Rosetta Tharp. So um, I've been listening to her and just really tuning in to that. And so i um, really excited about that. Um, amazing woman, amazing rock and rollist. Um, many artists after her have tuned in to her to get their sound. So i um, pretty excited, looking forward to that. Cool. There was, I had no idea about it. That was good because I asked you yeah. what's going on in these days, like uh, around, like what are you listening to? Right. No? Okay. <laughs> right. So you're listening to this, uh, like to get the vibe, to be inspired, and also to exactly. to understand, no, like her message, her exactly. like her music. No? Exactly. Cool. Get that out there. So yeah. And um, um, what you think, like your vo your voice, like. It's similar to no, like no similar, but you know, like what well, kind of like oh, like where does it fall under? Yeah, probably. I'd say, I'd say like a mixture, like Shaka Khan. I love how her stuff is funky. I may not be as strong as Shaka Khan, but then I'm also thinking about Side A. I think it's kind of like a mixture in between. Both. Okay, I yeah. think it's a mixture. So yeah, and how is the interaction uh, in the band? Oh, it's, it's great. It's great. No, <laughs> it's, it's like it's like supportive. family. It is like family. Yeah. I'm spoiled because I'm the only girl. I would love yeah. other girls, but I am kind of spoiled. It's kind of nice. Um, but the interaction is great and very supportive. And they're always pushing me to try new stuff, try new things. So that's what I've done. They keep me raising the bar. Raising they the never bar. keep me comfortable. It's like I always got to raise it. Cool. I mean, it's always challenging. It's always uh, like a learning, yeah. a learning process. No? Oh, Good. yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, you feel great in the band. Oh, I feel eh? great. I mean, my husband. More comfortable. Oh, yeah. My husband is, what, the other guitarist? So, and he's an excellent musician. I look up to my husband a lot, Ken House. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, with him there, the bar is always, like, <laughs> up above my head. That's another gospel song, up above my head. Uh, so, um, yeah, listening to him, listening to our horn players, Alan Williams and um, David Boyce. I mean, incredible horn player. So, if I... If I even get a bit of a some kind of a compliment, this is my personal thing <laughs> from either David James or Alan Williams. I know I did something hot <laughs> that night. Um, so yeah, but um, it's cool. It's a really cool thing. Yay, Wendell made it. And there's Wendell <laughs> in the house. Hello, ciao, Wendell. Welcome, Yay. welcome. All right. Oh yeah. Well, yes. Please. No worries, man. Welcome. Have a, have a seat. Let's uh, show Wendell on the camera. Wendell, welcome, brother. Oh, there's a camera, too? Yeah, we yeah. have a video going on as well. You look, you look sharp. You look sharp. Yes. All right. Make yourself comfortable. Cool. I was, I was, asking, uh, I was asking Sandy how she feel like being in the band, you know? Like, she was saying, I'm the only woman. I'm a little spoiled, but, you know, I, it was, she was saying that the, the, the musicianship is great and uh, it's always, uh, like, a learning for her to... You know, be part of the band and, uh, you know, contribute, like, among these awesome musicians, no? Well, but as you said, she, she gets spoiled and not gets, like, picked on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah. <laughs> Boy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, being part of AFE is great. Um, I've definitely grown as an artist since I've been with AFE. Definitely. I've had to, you know, I've come a long way. Yes. <laughs> And now you are more involved even in the song in some writing part, you know? oh, So yeah. yeah, for the for the next album, so yeah. Sure. Cool. Well, so we only had we had a bunch of grooves without lyrics. She came uh, on board and, yeah. and, and uh, started writing lyrics. Uh, started writing lyrics right uh, away. You you're gonna use oh, the, yeah, this, this mic. This okay, yeah. yeah. No, also also for your bass uh, when okay, the cool. yeah. Yeah, the first album I wrote some stuff. My husband and I co-wrote. Oh, well, wrote some of the songs in the first album, wrote some stuff with DJ. Then on this album, I think we all wrote some some stuff, some good stuff. Yeah, it's more like, it's more like I can't wait to. I mean, we have we have just, just a little preview. I can't wait to listen to. But you know, in the meanwhile, you guys keep keep doing your job, like recording and yeah. Hmm. All right, we are yeah. we are espresso session. You are listening espresso session. Best frequencies forever. BFF dot FM every Tuesday two to four. Afro funk experience in the studio today. 
uh, performing like a stripped down version of their song, yeah. talking about their music, Equipment. influence. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, You've just, been around mic stands for a while, DJ. What's up? Uh, Yes. Uh, it's nice, it's good, you know. Yeah, it's better. It's been a while. Like I, I think you guys came, uh, came over in um, 2012. I think it was 2012. Uh, I, I all this. You can look for the guy. It was 2012 and uh, was um, KCSF. Yeah, it wasn't here. That's yeah, it wasn't here. It wasn't here. Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to upgrade. This is like a, a nice station, independent radio station, four years old. Community radio from the mission. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Like if, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> let's play. Uh, let's play one song in the meanwhile. We are Sorry. No, no, it's all good. Yeah, it's, um, actually, let's play this uh, from um, David James uh, GPS project. I got this uh, Black Ops lineup next, and we go back uh, in one second talking. Yeah. Yeah about Afrofunk experience and playing some music live, BFF.FM.
want to say thank you guys. Thank you, David uh, and Sandy. Thank you for being here. Uh, you, you, guys, yeah. you guys have to go now, but uh, you guys are going to leave me in the wise end of Mr. Wendell Rand. Yeah. 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 Yes. Thank you yes. for yeah. having us. Thank you guys for being Thank here. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Check them out. Check oh. them out. Uh, if you are in the North Bay this Thursday, uh, the Redwood, Redwood Cafe. Redwood Cafe. Yeah. Yeah. Come at 7, actually. We have activities going on at 7. I heard you guys. Today. Okay. Or it's Friday in San Francisco at the Milk Bar in 8th Street. Yes. Right, right in front yeah. of uh, this place. It's kind of famous Amoeba Music Store. Amoeba no? Music. Amoeba Music, yes. <laughs> cool. So thank you, well. David and Sandy. It was a pleasure to have you guys. Oh, you, yes. Now I'm going to take care of... Wendell is going to take care of me. <laughs> or I'm going to yeah, take yeah. care of Wendell. Thank you, Wendell. Yeah, thank you, Wendell. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you thank you, guys. Good. Afrofunk Experience. Check them out. All right, let's uh, let's play Istanbul. Istanbul, while you guys, uh, while well, Wendell, you get set up, okay? All right, Afrofunk experience. All right. Uh, hello, Wendell. How's it going, brother? Hello. How's uh, it going, Antonino? Good, man. It's good to have you on the radio again since uh, since 2012. Huh? It was like the, the old times of KCSF. Probably the Never Be The Same album just came out. Is that how long ago that was? That was a long time ago, That's man. five years. It's five years, man. Like, time goes so fast. Do you know how much has happened in five years? Yeah, kind of. No. Well, we don't yeah. have to go through some of it. But. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to catch up like five years because we 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 haven't seen it on the radio in five years. There, there you go. We've yeah. seen each other. We've seen each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we don't have, we don't have to catch up <laughs> five yeah. years. Yeah, man, like <laughs> you know, once upon a time. You know, right. Let's start right. With that. We'll no, start that's, boring people. That's so, yeah, we don't want to bore people. Not no? at all. Not at all. Um, your your bandmate were playing some great song. I mean, stripped down version for sure, no? It sounded great to so, me. Oh, good. You were listening. Where are you listening? I, was, the, I, I found the website on the on the Facebook. Uh, BFF.fm, yes. And I had to go through Sausalito. Ah, okay. There yeah, was, because there was like a, a gray, like a new fire uh, was going a fire on. fire somewhere. I didn't see how, I didn't get to the point because they made everybody get off the 101 going south. So there's a fire somewhere around Marin City, like a oh. grass fire somewhere right outside the freeway. So they got us up to Sausalito. I took off, went through Sausalito, and I'm like, "Well, I'll, I'll get there. I don't know when." Uh, so I put it on the I put it on the the website and I streamed it, and I heard it, I heard everything just about. Yeah, and now now people are gonna do the same. They're gonna hear you, man. Like so, yeah, <laughs> you, great. You took their spot. You know, yeah. they took like just a substitution. That's so, all right. are you excited of the new album? How it's going? Yeah, so far? man. It's funny because I think David told you we uh we had been playing those tunes. For about a year or so, at least a year, and uh, we didn't. We just didn't record them because we wanted to figure out exactly how we wanted to present them. So uh, uh, we got like nine or ten new songs to record. We recorded seven of them, I think. But like I said, we've been playing them, uh, and after we did the roughs, we're done with those roughs. Now we think we want to add some more. So we may we may not try to release it until you know next year sometime. Maybe, cool. maybe early next year. Yeah, because also there is uh, like Cindy more involved in the band, uh, like writing t writing lyrics, and uh, the lineup is more. It's I mean it's consolidated. It's been it's been the same since a while, no? For a while, since, For a we, while. since we did the last interview, I think it's been the same. Yeah, it's been the same. I think so. Was Mike was Mike in the band? It was Mike. No, uh, it was it was uh, right right after he passed away. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So cool, and uh, you guys play like they they play a couple of tunes. This uh, cumbia city, cumbiacity, cumbiacity. There, where uh, they is singing in Spanish. Yeah, so you got new new direction in your. Um, it's good, no? Yeah, yeah. Well, he lives right here in the Mission, so he should be speaking. We should be singing some I songs. I know. I was telling man, you live in California, you know, like so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and also. I see that you brought a CD with some recording. No, we can play later. No, if good. You, yeah, yeah. I, I, we got two songs. They're rough, and to me, you know, it's funny you mention that because 
a lot of times I'll go back and listen to rough mixes after we've mastered and, and, and mixed them down and mastered. And I'm like, man, the, the rough mixes sound a little better to me. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe I'm just listening to the bass and drums. Okay. <laughs> but it just seems like they sound a little more like organic and, and in your face. But anyway, I'm, I'm yeah. excited to hear these uh, on the radio. Yeah. So that, I, I was going to be like six tracks, eight tracks. How many songs? So like I said, I think we recorded eight or nine tracks okay and i and i think we're th we're not quite sure because we're gonna master we're, we're thinking about mastering um anyway i'm not gonna say where but we're thinking about mastering yeah, yeah. here in the city and before we do i think we want to record or record at least two more two or two three more, more. so okay. we'll have like 11 songs 11 songs like uh yeah okay. i mean you know we're all getting older you know we never know we're gonna have time to, to record to again, again no? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we might as well get everything out now i mean i i mean you look you you guys look in a great shape all, all of you guys so you know i think you're gonna Thank have you. it but too. you know seeing um, the last release was 2012 so probably uh, uh, hopefully the next one is not gonna be in uh, let's say 18 uh, 20 12 22 no like yeah, <laughs> that that's, long. yeah that's way too long i've been complaining we waited way too long to record we you know a lot of a lot of the new paradigm is to put music out all the time because oh, yeah. these kids these days have a low attention span you know yeah short, yeah short I, attention span i think i heard about it like what, what were we talking about then <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah. what did you say again what did you say man like <laughs> what are you what are you doing it what are we doing like, here? why am i here See there? what are we doing here? It's like catch, what's it's going contagious the, the i know man it's low like attention span. what is my phone <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's uh, also because there is... Um, the digital um, age. The digital, I mean, it's easier to record these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, the access to, to tools, production tools are, like, uh, more That's accessible. True. So, you know, we can... And there is, like, an avalanche of new music. So, yeah. even for professional, like, the people that, like, listen to music every day for a profession, right. uh, it's overwhelming. So, yeah. yeah. Everybody's got thousand tunes in their pocket on their phone you know these days yeah right. even, more, even more even more yeah even more yeah yeah in a way it's easier because you don't have to bring heavy like like records but it's another it's another story mm -hmm. you guys should do like afro funk experience release like music every four years or five no <laughs> <laughs> to the unclog the the music industry no no i mean just kidding huh. but you know probably you know something that is uh, waited that long there's more uh, uh, expectation, probably. Uh, right. People people are waiting for it, and uh, because you guys you guys have been there since a while, so you have a following. Yeah. Uh, you are very respected in the city and like around, no, as a band. Right. So it, when we so since it's been so long, you're saying it should be something really worthwhile. It's no, I mean, I, I guess it's gonna be any, yeah. but you know, uh, the weight. So like people are gonna appreciate it because of the weight. The anticipation. No? It, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not like. Uh, Oh, it's another Afrofunk experience release. Like there are two years. No, it's mm -hmm. like it's been like four years or or something like five right. years. Right. So it's, there's gonna be more. Um, it's true. Yeah, that's why we've been playing. We've been playing them live too. So that makes it means that the songs should be where we want them. You know, they've yeah. developed where we want them. So, although I think I heard DJ mention uh, at the Milk Bar, one of our, our our visions or one of our wants for that residency is just to explore you know yeah. improv and 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 do things on the cusp and, and right in the moment you know and that's always fun and sometimes those things make it to the album you know ideas oh, yeah. that we create right on the spot i mean yeah because uh the magic happens outside the the comfort zone no so if yeah. you if you play the the same uh, track list you know like it's uh, never gonna have room for the magic but you, if right. you dare a little bit and go outside the beat and pop mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I think you are like uh, you are like uh, you are very experienced improviser. No, you've been you've been. I seen you playing with uh, like so many bands and uh, in any any kind of contest, even like call probably the the same night. Oh, when there can you play bass? Uh, all right, yeah, it's something like that. So. That's happened. That's happened. Now, now I don't live in the city as much, so I'm, I I think I probably don't. I'm not as busy, the being out of the city. But yeah, I've, I'm planning a few projects. Uh, Thursday, we're doing this benefit for the uh, victims of the Sonoma fires, and I'm playing with a band called Onye and the Messengers, and it's a sort of another Afrobeat band. It's based in Sonoma County. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Let's say also if uh, there is a donation button in this video that you are watching to, and oh, uh, cool. the donation goes direct to direct relief to help uh, people affected by the fire. 
I like and, that. I yeah. like the direct, direct. I like that a lot. Yeah, because you know, like I mean, we this is like a donation-based station, and oh, we cool. survive thanks for your donation, guys. And we are very like thankful of you. Like we we getting donation almost every week. So I know, thank you so much, guys. Very but cool. you know, these days, uh, like, let's switch the, you know, like, you guys, if you want to donate some dollars, do it for a for a cause that right now is more important. Huh? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the it's it's been. I mean, you you live in Petaluma, so yeah. you've been closer to the pretty close, man. We, there's but there's been like these uh, soft sort of warnings and ev not evacuations, but to have. Be prepared to evacuate. To, yeah. And the smoke is actually horrible because um, it's not just fire; it's not just wood burning. It's buildings, and so if, if you're up in the area and you and you do uh, you encounter the smoke from the fires, get your mask on. There's more toxins in the air than just wood uh, fire and and uh, organic matter. <clears throat> yeah, because also there were like a higher temperature than a regular like wood fire. So like car meltdown, yeah. like glass meltdown some metal parts it's pretty surreal so you know it's kind of uh i mean it's it's pretty dangerous to to breathe even in the city you know we had last week like wednesday thursday yeah was like the sky looked like the post apocalyptic man. yeah and that's uh, is that the, the smoke from the fires up where i was is that the deal up, up yeah, yeah really yeah, i heard yeah. that it was it was smoky down here as well yeah yeah, huh. yeah anyways Amazing. yeah Anyways, good. You guys are playing for a uh, for a benefit yes, this sir. Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Oh, also, and it's I should mention this. It's through Bloom. Bloom is a Marin uh, company that uh, provides rather high end clothing for people in need. Um, it's all refurbished clothing, and and it's, so it's recycled but then distributed. So I want to shout out to Bloom in Marin. It's uh, bloommarin.org, and they're going to be partnered with us in this venture to uh, help people get back on track who were affected by the fire. Yes. Uh, you want to play something from the, the like some uh, like unreleased stuff, the sneak yeah. review of the next album? Yeah, I think uh, I think there's two songs on there, right? One's called Killer and the other one was, what's the other one on there? About to premiere something. Oh, Smashing. Man, I like Smashing too. Let's try. Let's try Killer right now. Killer now. You. What, what kind Let's of track? Second one. Second track. Okay. Uh, you want to introduce? You want to introduce this track real quick? You know, I don't know the story <laughs> behind this. I, th I think. I think this is one DJ wrote and brought to the band. Sometimes we create songs together, and this is one DJ pretty much brought in. I, I would say the horn players probably wrote their own melody though. Okay, I'm not sure. He can correct me. So this is uh, this is gonna be a preview here on BFF.fm. New material from Afrofunk Experience to be released like next year approximately. Mm -hmm. This song is called Killer. Killer. Killer so far, and you have the privilege to listen to it for the first time here on BFF.fm. It's coming out.
that's fresh trying to holler at me. Tell him I don't speak uh, Trini. Speak English. Shout out to Dave Nihali. Antonio, fresh as life. I hear you hollering at me, man. Yeah, I'm in the city. This is a rare visit, so I definitely will give you a call. But why don't you come down to the Milk Bar Friday on Hate and come sit, come spit some verses with us. Holla, holla.
Oh, this is some new material unreleased here, like some Afrobeat, nice, like super tight. You guys are super tight. Rough mix, yeah. Yeah, rough mix, you know, like we can, yeah, there's some silence in the beginning, like ta ta ta, you know, it's a rough mix, but it's a, yeah. pl it's a honor and a privilege to have some, you know, rough mix. Yeah. Pre sneak preview of like That's unreleased right. stuff, you know, like. Debuted. The building, like, sounds great. So, you know, it's uh, Afro-Funk experience style, like, p direct, powerful, and, like, positive. Hopefully it gets people dancing. I guess so, I guess so. And this is some material that you guys play right now in the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, we no? actually have it, put this in our set. So already. it's in, his, in the set already, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play another song here. Uh, they, they got a line up. Is this African Skies? Oh yeah. So this is um this is till a few years ago, two or three years ago. We did a uh, there was a Paul Simon Graceland album tribute that we did with Undercover Presents. Okay, I give a shout to Undercover Presents. They're doing a good job. In yeah. The Bay Area. So yeah. this is a uh, Afri African Sky. Under African Skies. Yeah. We yeah. kind of redid it in our own way, yeah. lyrically and musically. All right, Afrofunk Experience. Ah, 
While David Boyce is playing saxophone here, like this was uh, African under African skies. Black Edgar on saxophone. Yes. Uh, saxophone. From the Brown Fellinis. From the Brown Fellinis and other bands. Mm -hmm. All right, Afro funk experience in the house. So this was uh, like a cover. Cover. We play some uh, originals from um, from uh, Never Be the Same. We talk a little bit about it. Right. Uh, we played a little uh, preview of the next uh, album. I, you guys have a name for it already? That's, that's a good question. We uh -huh. have, where's a song that, that uh, we're doing and we're calling it Colors? And we're thinking about naming the album Colors. And it's, it's a cool tune. It's a tune in nine. <laughs> yeah. And usually when you say there's a tune like in nine or 11 or 13, people are like, oh man, nobody want to hear that. Just play something like and dance. I nine like the uh, like the tempo, huh? Yeah, 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 nine eight. And uh, but this one's pretty funky. So you you can count it in a in a six too. So it's like a six eight, and everybody loves a six eight. So, okay. Yeah. So maybe colors. We're we're, maybe, we're still trying to figure it out. Maybe colors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Working on uh, on the sound first. Right. Then uh, then the name. Exactly. Uh, we have another. We have another song to to premiere, no? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this this one is called Smashing. Yes, sir. You wanna like spend a couple of words for it? Introducing you know, it. I think the, I think the tune will uh, speak for itself. I think it will. It, it, it's it's a big part of what we do. It's uh it's a nice funky backbeat and hardcore guitar on top. So it's our style. You know, we're we're three of us are from the city. Myself. Uh, David James, who was here earlier, and Ken House, the two other two guitar players, and we just we just love the funky backbeat with a heavy hard guitar on top, and that's what we got here. Yeah, Afrofunk Experience uh, unreleased track smashing. Yeah, BFF.FM. <laughs> And one and two. This is like super rock, rough cuts. Ah, yeah. All right. Loose this, ends. This is the best of live radio.
Yeah, you are right, Neo. It's been uh, they're working on the 25 years. Yeah, Brown Fellinis. was a sneak preview of Smashing, That's Afrofunk right. Experience, new sound, it's like super rough cuts. Before the horns, I Before just the horns. <laughs> but just to give you a little uh, uh, preview, like a little taste of uh, what's going on under the Afrofunk Experience uh, studio lab, you know, like you guys, yeah. keeping it powerful, keeping it funky, you yeah. know, like great, like, you know, dance music, organic, dan organic dance music. Yes, keeping it real. Keep it real. Um, you guys been there since a long time, so you know. Yeah. Solid man. Oh, here there is uh, something. There's a little bummer going on right now. There is 3:50 p.m. and uh, it's kind of time to wrap the show up and uh, play last songs. Okay. And uh, let's say it again. You guys are playing a benefit tomorrow. Yes, we're playing a benefit Thursday, actually. Uh, Not tomorrow, Thursday. 7 yeah. o'clock up in Katati in Sonoma County. And it's a benefit for the victims of this horrific, devastating fire that really displaced a whole lot of people. I actually played a, a little improv hip-hop set at a, at a shelter. that my, my kid's school in Petaluma was converted into a shelter for um, some temporarily displaced people. <clears throat> and it's funny, I, I should say this too, it seems like there's a lot of, there's been a lot of generous giving, and so there's plenty of clothes that they have. I think that there's other things that people need, other little supplies, and we're gonna work that out, but that's, that's what we're doing. We're doing this benefit to bring some information and coordinate uh, actual physical help to help people at the shelters. They need lots of physical help as opposed to just donating clothes. But we're still taking clothes through bloom.org, a Marin-based company that uh, accepts clothing, good good clothing, quality clothing, that uh, that we can distribute to people in need. So, yeah, that's at 7 o'clock tomorrow at Redwood Cafe in Katadi. Uh, not tomorrow, uh, Thursday, yeah. That, that's, <laughs> Thursday, yeah. Excuse me, Thursday, not tomorrow, no. Thursday. Yeah, that's my, right. my bet, you know, like... Uh, Thursday night, that's right. Thursday night. And Friday night, you guys are And then Friday, we have a residency. This will be a, the third or fourth of a residency we have uh, at the Milk Bar on Haight Street, uh, right across from Amoeba Music. And that'll start later, like 9.30 or so. Yeah. And, uh, so catch them um, in, if you're in North Bay Thursday or if you're in the city Friday. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm also playing this Friday uh, the Great Northern for this Global yeah. Soul event. And I'm giving away two tickets if you send an email to nino at msk.fm about it. Okay? Uh, yeah, you know, I never promote my show. I <laughs> always have promote guests. your show, man. Oh, man, man, let's promote the, uh, you know, Do it's... Your thing. The, you, can, you guys can come earlier to the, yeah. the Afrofunk at Milk Bar and then afterwards, because it's still 3 a.m. at uh, the Grand Norton. No? Oh, to word, that's a, a good, that's a, a good info. A great Friday of music. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thank when you. Thanks they, for having us. Thank now. you, DJ David James and uh, Sandy House. Sandy. They were here. It was, it was kind of nice because they had to leave um, uh, earlier. And you had like a, this... Uh, delay because of uh Perfect. it's yeah so you know like you guys didn't play together but you do all that all the time we know? do it all the time all the time <laughs> so you know i mean if you miss the if you miss it you can check them live anytime you know when That's we right. already told you so thank you so much for listening watching us if you want to donate any money we have a di direct relief uh donation button set up and let's close this show with this uh hey uh, it's a live recording from Afrofunk yeah, Experience? Yeah, live recording. Recorded up in Sebastopol at the May Day Festival, actually. So it's kind of timely. All right. Thank you so much. Espresso Sesh, Best Frequencies Forever. Astral Projection Radio Hour is coming next. Thank you. Thank you.